Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna cover the Bitcoin price as usual. We're also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content my friends, good luck to everyone that is trading here on this Femex uh, trading competition. It has started so good luck to everyone and also big shout out to our community over on Discord. We are also trading here on this event so a big shout out to our trading chat. If you want to join our Discord community then make sure to join here with the invitation link that you find in the video description down below here once you have clicked it you go here to read first you click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot and like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get access also to my own indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to send me a private message because uh, a little donation is needed to get access to the live stream so as you can see we have right now a three hour buy signal so bitcoin is about to have a pump here at least for the short term also if we break it down here into the one hour time frame you can see that we are forming here a nice w pattern and we can also do a measurement here of the potential breakout target from this w because there is a very high chance that we could see this uh, play out very well if we are able to take this resistance out here that we have now so this green trend line here is the previous resistance from our rising wedge and currently it could be acting as a resistance right now you can also see that bitcoin has a bit problems to break through here so this fifty seven thousand dollar needs to be broken in order to have here this play out of this w formation and the target is right here at around fifty eight thousand six hundred dollar this is also our local resistance that we have and therefore we have to go over into the four hour time frame because as you can see here if we connect here these tops that we had here since $62,000 you can see this red trend line that is coming down this is our current resistance if we are able to break through above then I think we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs and head towards our bullish targets that are still between 75 to 100k but as long as we're within this uh, pattern here which also could end up in a big falling wedge which of course is a bullish pattern and we may be going to see the breakout later here to the upside then of course the measured target would be up here towards seventy thousand dollars so very close to our bullish targets so if this is going to play out i think yes because here at least in the lower time frames we are getting some very bullish uh, signals for example here in the four hour we are back above the ema ribbons and also as you can see we already had now a four hour close above the 20 moving average this is what we wanted to see in order to have here a move towards our resistance here and potentially also break it to the upside so everything is looking very bullish in the lower time frames after this dip that we have seen but of course we are not out of the woods yet we still have this resistance here from this previous rising wedge at fifty seven thousand dollar and even if we would start to trade above this price level then here this fifty eight thousand seven hundred dollars could also act as a resistance and maybe here then we're gonna see another sell-off towards the support that we now have towards the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame and this is right now at around fifty three thousand dollar so the lower time frames are suggesting that we're going to see continuation to the upside here also in the three hour time frame now since this buy signal that we had over here we have now another one right here so in my opinion it is very likely that here we could break out to the upside and test here this fifty-eight thousand six hundred dollar especially if you're trading right now at this uh, trading event i think that's a good long opportunity here and make sure to put a stop loss in profits if here we are starting to get some problems to break through here at fifty-eight thousand seven hundred. i think here there is a chance that maybe we could come back down again towards the support but if we are able to break above and also start to consolidate date above fifty eight thousand eight hundred dollars above this resistance then i think we will see follow through here to the upside since we cooled off a lot here all indicators in the lower time frames with this uh, dip that we have seen in the last couple of days and if we go over into the daily time frame 
here you can see that right now we are facing this resistance here right at the nine daily moving average so that's why my friends if we are able to consolidate above the nine daily moving average and also start to close daily candles above this important moving average then i'm very bullish here for bitcoin and i'm expecting here explosive moves to the upside the daily time frame also here bounced right at the 50 level in the rsi so this is very bullish my friends and after this reset that we have i think uh, it's just a matter of time until we are getting here another buy signal in the daily and that of course will signal that we're gonna head towards our bullish targets and then once we are reaching the 75 to 100k then we're gonna have to check again all the top cycle indicators because if they are flashing to sell then i think it's not a bad idea to take a little bit of profits out if we are reaching these levels up there in a very fast way because that means that we will be a bit overheated and too fast reaching those highs price levels and that's what i also told you in many videos already my friends that i will take some profits if we're gonna see in the month of march or april here an explosive move towards 100k because i still think that sooner or later we will at some point come down to test the 20 weekly moving average and currently it's right here at thirty-six thousand dollar, and this is where i then gonna buy again all in all the profits that i would take if we're gonna see an explosive move towards 75 to 100 k so everything again is pointing out that we're gonna see continuation to the upside as long as we're trading above the nine weekly moving average which is here at fifty thousand dollar and of course the important thing is that we are not gonna lose here the support that we're building up right now here at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame because in that case if we would lose the support this falling wedge here would be denied and we should then look for lower levels here for bitcoin maybe even towards the 20 weekly moving average but the lower time frames now are looking way more bullish than yesterday it is very bullish that right now we are closing candles again above the 20 moving average and if we go over now to ethereum same goes also here we had a successful bounce right here at this fibonacci retracement here at 1670 and right now we are going up here to test this previous support which now could be acting as a resistance here at 1770 but i think also here on ethereum there is a very high chance that we could break out here to the upside and then move on again towards this resistance that we have here at 1880 so everything is depending on bitcoin my friends if we are able to create new all-time highs and also continue to pump in the bitcoin price then i think also in ethereum we will see the same so most likely ethereum is still lagging behind so if you are too late to trade bitcoin then make sure that you're able to trade ethereum over on femex or bybit and now let's go over to the to the dxy because here my friends we are now facing huge resistance as you can see right now we are touching the 200 daily moving average so we had now this pump out of this falling wedge as expected yesterday and as you can see right now we are getting some resistance here at the 200 daily moving average so all eyes are glued right now here into the dxy price action because if we are able to close daily candles above this important resistance right at the 200 daily moving average then i think here we could see a trend reversal in the dxy and we should look here for higher levels in the next coming days and weeks but if here we are getting heavily rejected and we are not able to close daily candles above the 200 daily moving average, I'm expecting here a huge sell off at least again towards the 9 and 20 daily moving average here at around $91.60. And if here we are getting heavily rejected, maybe we also gonna head to way lower levels potentially down here towards this support that we have out of this ascending broadening wedge that we are forming here which in theory is a bearish pattern and that of course would be very much in favor for the crypto market and also for the stock market if we are able to go down here to this support and maybe even break out here to the downside and speaking about stock market let's go to nasdaq now because nasdaq is also back above the 9 and 20 daily moving average yesterday we confirmed it as a new support but we still have the problem here of the 50 daily moving average same like over here we are not able to break through the 50 daily moving average so once this resistance here is broken i think we're gonna go straight towards this all-time high that we had here at thirteen thousand nine hundred dollar and then most likely also break it because 
because the Nasdaq would look very bullish if here we are able to recover again above this important moving average and of course above this important resistance support area here at around $13,000. So Nasdaq, in my opinion, is also looking again more bullish, same like Bitcoin. And that's why if also here in Nasdaq, we're going to see a big pump to the upside and a big rejection in the DXY, this will be very much in favor also for the crypto market, especially for Bitcoin. So we are not out of the woods yet, my friends. There is still a high chance that here we could get rejected latest here at around $58,700. But overall, we could be in this potential bullish pattern here, which the breakout target would be up here at around $70,000. But if here we're going to lose this support that we're creating here at around $53,000, then we have still the risk that we could drop even down towards the 20 weekly moving average if this nine weekly is getting lost as well here at 50k because usually bitcoin always comes down to the 20 weekly moving average during a bull run and always bounce from this important price level which currently is right here at 37 thousand dollars so you see my friends thanks to these lower time frames that are starting to look again more bullish we have now again the chance to break higher and potentially also create new all-time highs but watch out, we still have some resistances above of us. So if you want to wait for confirmation and trade safe with a nice long position, then maybe wait until we're going to see confirmations above $58,800, consolidate here and then move on towards new all-time highs. Because in this area right here, we still could get rejected. And of course, that would mean that we most likely then going to bounce up and down here in this uh, potential falling wedge before then we see a clear breakout to the upside here or also to the downside. So with that said, guys, going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all their referral links here to the recommended exchanges because with most of them, you will get some extra bonus, extra money and also you support the channel, of course. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.